Well, I'm going to show you guys some of the aftermath here. It's been about a week now. Clean. I cleaned up most, almost everything. All right, well, it took down the whole shed, or this whole uh, shipping container shed that I built, that I put together. The roof of this thing ended up flipping over, and when it was up in the air, these two containers broke. This one and this one collapsed sideways and landed on the trailer. Some of the side paneling broke on the trailer. Uh, that's not too bad. Broke my light, my red on the lights off. Yeah. And the roof was actually scattered all over the property. And we had to take the trampoline completely apart. That's demolished. All this tubing and everything is all bent up. Frame, everything. Now the swimming pool got folded in half. What we were doing is we were emptying out all the water out of the swimming pool. And there was a little bit of water inside the swimming pool. And when the wind came, even even though the swimming pool is lower than the hill right here the wind was still strong enough to grab the side and fold it up over in half and I just haven't messed with that much because we still have a bunch of water that's inside of it so I gotta get all that out before we actually start taking this thing apart the roof of this place is pretty much gone it's all sitting on the ground here this is all the felt we put the cinder blocks for our little fence that we had over here. We grabbed the cinder blocks and brought them over here so that way we could, you know, this stuff ain't continuously blowing away. When the wind started to blow, some of the sheeting started peeling off and it arced up sideways up over the house. So, some of the sheets flew up over the house, over the street, and ended up way over in the other property over there. So we found like four or five sheets of steel on the other side of the road over in that property. The rest of it flung off and landed out here, took out some of our fence line, a few boards. Now I would get up on the roof, but we don't have a ladder for me to get up there. We're gonna have to get one of those. We've got the insurance adjuster guy coming out today Saturday and he's gonna be getting up there to check it out so what do you think Nova huh kitty kitty here's our whole roof right here you yeah. Now in that video I was saying we can't find Ashley. Well Ashley is this one right here. What are you doing Ashley? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> we did find her when we went out to pick up the trampoline. And she was way out there by those shrubs right there at the tip of my finger there's a tunnel that goes underneath the road and you know uh, raccoons and other animals and stuff pass through that instead of going up over the road so there's a wear spot in there of the grass see normally when we get high winds coming through here and stuff Ashley will normally take refuge in the garage but since the wind was coming from this direction and it was coming through here she decided to take off <laughs> somewhere else out there so when we started taking the uh, trampoline all apart Allie and Cody were walking through here and they found her she was just crouched down in the grass just hiding all wet poor kitty but there's also something else if you look behind me at the mountains you can't see the mountains 
because of this, because the storms that have been coming through here are so bad. Well, I shouldn't say they're so bad, but it kind of happened. This happens almost every year. We get these big storms that come through here, through this region. And in this area of the United States, you know, Montana, Idaho, uh, some areas of North Dakota and Wyoming, starting Wednesday, there were, no, just on Wednesday, there was 89 fires going on. And then just on Thursday, 66 more started. And most of those are up here in this area of Montana and Idaho. The whole sky looks like this everywhere. See that nastiness. So, you can smell it in the air. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but yeah, it's, my voice is pretty raspy, gritty. And I'll tell you, when I started picking that thing up, I can't believe how many wasp nests I found. A lot. All over the ground, all over the wood. Maybe it was a good thing that that thing got knocked down. Now to let you guys know about how the time scale happened, we parked the truck, we started getting out of the truck, the roof started peeling off, we all got out of the truck, we ran over to look at the damage of the pieces that were flying all out into the root, out into the yard. Then we hear the crushing of this, and this thing comes down, and uh, I sat there and thought about it, it's like, you know something, maybe, maybe it was an act of God. We had to get away from the truck, so we went over there to look at the damage, and then the whole shed just breaks down and falls all over. If we were standing over there, we probably would have gotten hit by chunks of boards and stuff, or at least the roof. Sometimes the big guy works in mysterious ways, huh?